How many of you belong to a club? Anybody belong to a club right now? Club members? Anybody ever belong to a club? Okay, there's a few. You got kicked out, didn't you? I knew that. Uh, you know, the most exclusive clubs in the world tend to be invite only. <clears throat> invite only. <clears throat> you do not apply for membership. In fact, there's no membership application process for most of these. Um, either you get an invitation or you don't. For example, uh, there's a club called R360. Anybody know that one? You heard of that one? R360. Located in the United States. It's got, you know, locations really over the headquarter here. Networking organization, really, for the super rich. I mean, the super rich. Has a membership of 100 people worldwide. Um, if anybody is a member, please see me after church. Uh, if, and there's the yacht, there's the yacht club, uh, Demonico, yacht club Demonico, uh, located conveniently in Monaco, <laughs> which is nice. They have changed the name. What, there's no membership fee uh, for this one. You don't even have to own a yacht, but most w members would let you use one of their spares if you forget and leave yours at home. You know, right here in the state of Georgia. Um, there's the world-famous Augusta National Golf Club, home of the Masters Tournament. Again, uh, membership is strictly by invitation. If you even send out feelers that you're interested, you are not going to get in. Uh, they're pretty selective about all the details, and rumors are that to join this club costs somewhere between zero, which is believable, and 300000 which seems kind of low for a club like that. Uh, none of these, however, is the most exclusive club in the world. None of them, not, e not even close. Uh, um, there's uh, one club that is by far the most exclusive of all the clubs. It has one qualification, and it is not money. Um, even uh, billionaires like Elon Musk, uh, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, they got no chance at joining this club. The most exclusive club in the world was established on the 20th of January, uh, 1953. Um, it was the day of Dwight David Eisenhower's inauguration. Y'all are wondering why I'm putting this chair over here, aren't you? I'm building anticipation, but don't <laughs> tell anybody, okay? Uh, but it, this most exclusive club, um, uh, January 20th, uh, uh, 1953, uh, when Eisenhower became the 34th president of the United States, as he's being sworn in, two old political rivals stood shoulder to shoulder, Harry Truman and Herbert Hoover. As they stood on the platform, Harry leaned over to Herbert and said, I think we ought to organize a former president's club. And Truman said, fine, you be the president, I'll be the secretary. And just like that, True story, real club. Uh, it became the most exclusive club in the world, made, made up of all uh, living former presidents. Today, the club has five members. You know, Jimmy Carter, George Bush, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump. It does not matter how many billions of dollars you have, how famous you are, how many TikTok followers you got. It doesn't matter, you know, how popular, how many degrees, how accomplished, how brilliant, unless you are a former president of the United States of America, you're not getting in. You're just not. And some people uh, might care a whole lot about being a member of an exclusive club. Others of us just, you know, might not really care at all about such a thing. You're more, you're more like Groucho Marx, who famously sent a telegram to Hollywood's exclusive Friars Club, resigning his membership with these words, I don't want to belong to any club that would accept me as a member. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I love that, uh, that story. Uh, expect to hear it next week. I really like it. Worked on that laugh, though. Um, <clears throat> anybody here ever been in an exclusive club? Saw some, you know, some hands up. You remember the club, an exclusive club? No, nobody. I don't want to brag or anything, but I am a member of Sam's Club. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 
it's not the only one I belong to. Um, uh, in fact, uh, you know, the, the, the only club that I'm really, honestly, that's really a club, I think, uh, and it's not Sam's, the only club I really belong to uh, is the least, uh, least exclusive club in the world. It's, it's way lower than Sam's Club. Not everybody can join Sam's Club. I don't want to brag about that either. But you got to have 100 bucks, basically. Uh, something like that. I don't know what it is. Annual fee, join Sam's Club. But in this least exclusive club, you don't have to pay. You don't have to have letters of recommendation. Uh, in fact, everybody is already invited to become a part of this club even if very few accept the invitation and fewer still judge it worthy of their time. I want to talk about that club today. And I want to talk about the president of that club. What kind of a president runs a club and won't choose anybody? Everybody in it. You know, Paul writing to a young pastor named Timothy in his first letter to Timothy, the second chapter, he writes these words. I urge then, first of all, that uh, all that petitions, prayers, intercessions, thanksgiving be made for all people. Now note that Paul uh, prioritizes prayer. First of all, he says. And then he lists four kinds of prayer. So petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving. Might be worth noting that Paul says, first of all, and he never gets around the second of all, okay? Uh, I don't know why. Maybe because he didn't intend to do something that was uh, in a list. Uh, but he never lists a second thing or a third thing. And you might expect that. First of all, do this. Second of all, do that. Third, do the other thing. You know, no, just the first thing. It's like Paul is saying, prayer is the first thing, and there's no second thing. It's the most important. It's where we start. And we don't even need to mess with number two right now. Uh, it, it lists these four ways, though. Petitions, you know, that's asking God for something that you need or that you want even. Uh, give us this day our daily bread. Prayers is sort of a general term. You use that intercession, kind of a, you know, three-nickel word. But it's praying for another person, interceding on behalf of another person, like when somebody's sick or in trouble. And Thanksgiving, of course, that's where we express our appreciation to God for all of his blessings. And I'm telling you, um, if we did not take so many, th I have people come to me all the time when we're talking about prayer, not a prayer, you know, praying in life group, pray, just have anything to do with prayer. They say, I just can't think of stuff to say. I can't think of things to pray. Man, if we did not take so many things for granted, we'd never run out of things to be thankful for. Never, ever look around the room before you look around, before you turn your head, you can see an infinite number of things to be thankful for. We just got to be thankful. <laughs> Paul says, you know, pray for, pray for all people, all, give thanks for all, pray for all the needs, you know, and we do this, you know, we pray for all the needs of the people in our lives and that's good. Uh, but nothing's really going to change you until you start praying for the people that irritate you, that annoy you, who undermine you, who backstab you, who lie about you, who have really behaved badly. If you want to see godly change in your life, add godly prayer to your life. And it will change you inside out, probably faster than you think. Understand, Paul's not suggesting here in these four things that these are the four ways to pray and there's not anything else. I'm not, not saying that at all. He just sort of piles these on, on top of each other, uh, suggesting that we should pray in every way we can think of. Everything that we can think of, we should pray for it. Uh, for everybody we can. That's the first thing. All kinds of prayers for all kinds of people. And then I think maybe because, at least in today's climate, we so seldom do this, and I bet you even more so back then, uh, we so seldom do this, 